Hey guys, this is Ben from Mackey, and I'm here to tell you about our brand new DL1608. This is a 16 channel digital mixer that combines the power of a digital mixer with the ease and portability of an iPad for an incredibly low price. We're really thrilled to show it here at the show. Uh, first off, let's talk about the mixer hardware and then we'll talk about the iPad. Uh, you'll notice that the hardware has 16 of our world-class Onyx mic pre's. Each of those input channels has EQ, comp, and gate. We have six aux ends and a main left right, and each of those has a 31 band graphic and a limiter. So all the processing you expect, and all that's happening in the mixer hardware. Now, the control is all done through the iPad, and that's where the real power comes. So the iPad right now, as you can see, is connected via a wireless config or wired configuration. I have it slid all the way in and it's being charged. But I can simply slide it out and it switches over to wireless operation. The meters are back. It takes only a second to switch over to wireless. And now I'm completely mobile and I'm walking around the venue doing my entire mix remotely on my iPad. In fact, I can have up to 10 iPads connected wirelessly at once to a single mixer. It allows each member of the band to control their own monitor mix right from stage. And we know there are a lot of bands out there that mix themselves from stage, and that's a great, great use. It allows front of house guy to walk up to the rafters, make sure that the cheap seats get the exact same sound they need as the guy in the front with the expensive seats. It allows him to stand in front of the monitors and tune his wedges right from the monitor position. So really, really flexible with the iPad being wireless. One other thing is when the iPad is connected in the wired configuration, uh, you actually get a 17th channel here. You see it's labeled iPad. This lets me play stereo music directly from the iPad into the mixer for intermission music or playback before or after. I can also integrate music from any application on my iPad that's an audio app. So I could play GarageBand in the background and it'll stream audio right into my mixer. I also have a stereo signal coming back into the iPad for recording. Just simply hit a record button on the mixer on the uh, app itself, and I'm instantly recording my stereo mix right into the app for use later in any of my DAW programs on the iPad. So that's another feature uh, that really makes the DL1608 stand out. But as well, you can see we just have a great uh, full color screen, full color user interface, and that just makes it so much easier and more powerful to use compared to a sea of knobs, multi-function encoders that you have to remember what mode you're in and, and trying to look at a small single color monochrome screen to remember what channel you're controlling. The iPad gives you so much more detail, so much more power. A lot like a DAW that did in the, in the studio revolution years and years ago, everyone in the studio has enjoyed the power of these full color interfaces. Finally, the iPad lets us enjoy that live. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of the user interface and show you just how easy and powerful it is to use. So, you'll notice that the screen shows me eight channels at once. These are my input channels. I can simply swipe left or right, slowly or fast, to view any of my input channels. You'll notice as I do that, that on the right, the master, ch panel, uh, master channel stays there fixed. So I always have control of the master. Right now, I'm looking at the left-right mix, and these are the faders going to the left-right. If I swipe up, now I'm looking at aux-1 mix, and this is my aux-1 master, my aux-2 mix, and the aux-2 master. So very easy to get to all my inputs and outputs. All the input channels have what you'd expect. Solo, mute, my pan, my fader. You'll note as I adjust faders and controls that they grow and glow, giving me real positive feedback that everything is under my control. The channel name at the bottom, I can customize the name and I can even load a channel image. I have some great icons, so there's my snare on my vocal channel. <laughs> or I can even take a picture of the guy on the channel, so there's a picture of who, the, whoever happens to be singing on that channel, making it easy to identify. That's the mixer view. The other main view is our EQ view. Here's where I adjust the controls on that channel. I have EQ here. The, ma the main mix is again still where I need it. Or I can adjust it from the sliders below. If I swipe up, I have my gate and my compressor all available. Swipe up a second time and access to my reverb and delay with a dedicated send so I don't have to use up an aux send on that channel. So really fast, really intuitive. Outputs work the same way. Touch the master grab my graphic EQ, swipe up my master limiter and compressor. 
So everything you need, very intuitive, very fast, and completely wireless control. So this is the DL1608. We're thrilled to show it here at NAMM, uh, and we can't wait for everyone to take, check it out. So please go to uh, Mackie.com and check it out. Thanks.